All right, Calculorians, here we go. In this experiment of our Zoom world, I'm gonna practice trying to do a screen share. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna show you how you can use Desmos to look at a graph and graph the derivative. So I have a bunch of functions here that we've talked about in previous videos. First one is a polynomial. It's not the same exact polynomial that I graph for you, but it's f of x, it's a cubic function. Here it is in green. Now to graph the derivative, the given that the f of x is a cubic, I know f prime of x is going to be a quadratic. And I actually made the quadratic here just by hand by using the shortcut. x cubed becomes 3x squared, the minus 6x squared becomes minus 12x, plus 8x becomes plus 8, there is the derivative. Notice that this maximum value on the f of x is a zero on f prime. This relative minimum is a zero on f prime. So you can see, hopefully, on the left here where I have my function listed, if f of x is this cubic, here is f prime, that prime notation. The Desmos knows what we're talking about. We're asking for a derivative. Hopefully when I click this button, it is going to be the same as the red button. Dun, dun, dun. Can't tell. Let's see, let's get rid of the red. Oh, it's freaking out. Let's do the red, now the black. Ah, they are kind of, yeah, it is darker, isn't it? But yes, we can see they are the same exact thing. So awesome. Given a function, you can throw it into Desmos. You can graph the derivative. You don't even have to know what the derivative is with the shortcut, boom, it graphs it, f of x, f prime of x. All right, a couple other examples. So we've done lines, right? There's your 8x, 8x minus three, here's the graph. Turn on the derivative here, boom, there's the constant, there's that constant rate of change. So given the function, the original function f of x is a line, the derivative is gonna be just the slope of that line, a y equals that slope, constant. Boom, lots of booms here today. All right, if you watched a couple of the other videos, a couple other episodes, you saw that we took the derivative of the square root of x and we found that, um, and here actually, let's play around with that. When I did just the square root of x, okay, I'm gonna turn h of x off right now, square root of x, if I turn that on, we found the derivative and here, let's, we found it to be one over two times the square root of x. Let's turn that guy on. Right here, yeah, it's not cooperating with me right now. Why isn't it cooperating? Let's do this. Let's just say y equals. Um, okay, so this is what, and here, let's say, let's just use this line right here, g of x. I'm gonna call this g prime of x. Let's turn that on. Ah, we can see what we found algebraically on one of the last videos. You can now see the g prime of x in that one that we found algebraically. The derivative is that red graph of the square root of x, which is the blue graph. So again, you see that the red graph, the g prime of x is always positive. It's always above the x-axis given that the function itself, g of x, is always increasing. So now let's study h of x. h of x is the square root of x plus 5. So now let's look at if I was to graph h prime of x. There we go. You see that super steep tangent line right at that negative 5 is actually represented there in that vertical asymptote looking graph Again, always positive. You can see, oh, let's tie in some more stuff. The red graph, the derivative is decreasing. Notice it's decreasing. Look at the concavity of h of x. It's concave down. So our rate of change is decreasing. Our function is concave down. These are the connections we wanna start making. And I know there's been a lot coming at you. We're gonna use those O2Is to practice. Um, if we wanna look at this algebraically, um, my h prime of x is y equals 1 over, if you remember, the denominator always had that 2 times 
the square root of x plus 5. Boom, you see it's right on top of that derivative. So some math magic and hopefully starting to make some connections. The function with the derivative. Okay, the last one I want to look at is this 1 over x. So p of x is 1 over x. Let's get a good look at that guy. Let's graph the derivative. Okay, let's talk about the green graph. The green graph is always decreasing. The green graph is always decreasing. Look at it from left to right. Boom, 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 boom. Green graph decreasing. Green graph decreasing. Asymptote at x equals 0. The purple graph, which represents the derivative, is always negative. It's always below the x-axis. Notice the green graph here, decreasing and concave down. My derivative is negative and decreasing. Ah. Now check this out. We said that if it's 1 over x, and we change that to x to the negative 1, the derivative is negative x to the negative second power right on top of that p prime of x. Oh, Desmos, you're fabulous. Okay, check out these problems. Do some of your own. You're going to have some more practice on the O2Is. So hopefully things are starting to come together. I hope you're having a good time. Keep practicing. Keep asking questions. Let's hope this works. I'm going to look at it to see if the, it even recorded. Okay, see ya.